Good afternoon, internet people. And mom, I really hope you're watching because this is kind of for you. And to start, I know it was yesterday, but I don't do my videos on Fridays. <laughs> um, and it didn't occur to me. A lot of this is, a lot of what's happened is uh, kind of by accident, like the potato chip. Yeah, the potato chip was an accident. Um, but it just comes together and it's wonderful. But um, here you go, Mom. Sorry that this particular song is a is a day late. Happy birthday to you. A happy birthday to you. A happy birthday, dear Mom. Happy birthday to you and many more all right now that we've had our fun um this is this video this week is basically songs your mom probably sang if she sang songs in church um most of these are ones i've heard my mom sing so it's another reason i hope my mom's watching or will watch at some point one of the reasons I archived them is because no time I picked was good for anybody. So I just, you know what? I'll, I'll archive them. I'll put them somewhere and you can watch them later. But, um, I mean, a lot, and like, just like with Happy Birthday there, sometimes I do inflections and I'm also my own stage manager. So sometimes I'm looking down at my notes and my, my, my yeah, I got, I got notes attached to my notes. Um, actually really that's just a song list. But, um. And one of them, the, the last song I'm doing today is uh, Surely the Presence of the Lord is not the last song, but the first, the, yeah, the one before the last song, sorry. But Surely the Presence of the Lord is in this place, or Surely the Presence for short. Um, my mom introduced me to Touch by an Angel, which is a great show. Very doctrinally iffy. <laughs> um, I don't think angels reveal themselves as often as as the angels in the show do, but it's cute, it's emotional, and it's very moving. It, I, it was a good show. I liked it. And Tessie, Tessa, you know, the the big old black lady, loved that. Oh man, she she was she was fun to watch. Um, saying that on the show at least once or twice. So, I and I so I have my mom to thank for that one. And again, it's another song that most I just think of mom singing and the last one is one i think my mom said she really liked but we'll get to that later for now uh let's start with consider the lilies um you know i, I love the verse you know this talking about god knows the n number of hairs on your head and, and uh he, he he knows the numbers of the blades of grass and and he feeds the sparrows that don't do it they don't do anything but yet the lilies, the grass, and, and, and the sparrows are all precious to God. How much more precious are you that, that he, 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 uh, he takes care of you, he, all the stuff he's done? So, yeah, let's just, let's just sing the song. Consider They don't toil or spin, but there's not a king with more splendor than them. Consider the sparrow, he doesn't plant nor sow. But he's fed by the master who watches him grow. We have a heavenly father above with eyes full of mercy and a heart full Your head is bowed low. Consider the lilies, and then you will know. May I introduce 
introduce you to this friend of mine Who hangs out the stars, tells the sun when to shine And he kisses the flowers each morning with dew But he's not too busy care about you. Yes, we have a heavenly Father above with eyes full of mercy and a heart full of love. And He really cares when your head is Consider the lilies, and then you will know. Consider the lilies, and then you will know. All right, I, th I need to look up a different version of that song because. Lately, the chords in that one have not been making a lot of sense as to how it should sound. I think is that the right one? Yeah. This one is one my mom sang all the time. Um, and I love that, you know, consider the lilies. Take care of them. How much more is he going to take care of you? doesn't go out of tune in the middle of the song like it's been doing. A lot of time, I was actually having a lot of problems with a lot of different songs, but I, I, I realized I, I wasn't tuning my guitar. Well, I was, but it was going out, it was when I didn't realize it was going out of tune all the time, so it made it really frustrating. Of course, that was also somewhat during my period where I was under so much stress, I was losing my skills. Yeah, it, it, it's weird. It, 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 yeah. When you're so overwhelmed, you just you start going backwards in some places. Um, but God's been really good to me lately. I, I've been going song crazy. Just ask my poor darling wife. I've been downloading crazy amount of songs, a lot of Disney film songs. Um, I mean, I'm getting some from one of them. The last song I'm doing today is a Disney film song for you, you Disney fans out there. Um, a lot of you classic Disney film fans, because it's from the '70s. Um, like a like a lot of you people out there, right? Nice young thirty year olds. Wait, I'm thirty. Thirty three. Anyways. I did it I I, uh, I recorded this once, like I, I made an audio recording and then I put some pictures a picture to it. It was one of my first videos I ever made. Um on my YouTube. But uh here you are, live. Um, I, I, I hope I can do this. I've practiced a, these songs a lot. Um, and refiguring some things out, learning some new chords. Anyway, we'll, let's, we'll, let's just go here, huh? There is a Savior What joys express His eyes on mercy His word is rest For each tomorrow Our way, our 
are the burdens in your heart? Is your past a memory that binds you? Is there some pain that you've carried far too long? Then strengthen your heart with His good. forgiven you. There is a Savior. What joy is expressed? His eyes on mercy. His word is red. For each tomorrow, for yesterday, there is a Savior who lights our There is a Savior, what joys express, His eyes on mercy, His word, His rest. Okay, messed up the last chord there, but okay. Uh, I've been learning a lot of stuff about myself and music and relearning some things about music lately, and to me, it's just, it's really, I like it. Um, all right. Kind of keeping with the theme of songs your mom or your grandmother or some female member of your family probably sang, but that's way too long of a title, so songs your mom probably sang. I say probably because, let's face it, not everyone's mom is a singer, and I think a lot of us can be thankful for that. Um, now sometimes, you know, that there was a key change in that last song, and sometimes you want to, you want to get, you want to punch it too hard. Just, just stay with it, man. Just stay with it. Don't, don't force a round peg in a square hole. Okay, don't do that. It's bad. Remember, I had a lot of trouble with that song, mostly somewhat for the chords, somewhat for the. The range, the arrangement. I uh, I went on a website called uh, MusicNotes.com. Get get a lot of sheet music for all kinds of songs, and it had the chords in it. And I had to I made like three or four different versions because I didn't know which chords to use, and that's the one I decided on. And even that one has pencil markings and notes all all over it. But uh, here we go, continuing on with our video today. Okay. Um, excuse me. Another one I think I remember my mom singing. In this very room, there's quiet. 
enough love for one like me and in this very room there's quite enough joy for one like me and there's quite enough hope and quite enough power to chase away any gloom for Jesus, for Jesus is in this very This very room, there's quite enough love for all of us, and in this very room, there's quite enough joy for all of us, and there's quite enough and quite enough power to chase away any gloom for Jesus for Jesus is in this very very room there's quite enough love for all the world and in this very room there's quite enough joy for all the world and there's quite enough hope and quite enough power to change Some, some of these songs I've only ever heard with a, a a background track or tape or CD or something. And sometimes when, when you, you download the music, it's not in the right key or it just doesn't sound right. And it's actually a lot of work to get it to even sound like your vocal range is right. But sometimes the chords sound almost like a bit of the music from the actual like you know, recording of the you know the, the actual instruments and stuff and. I just love it when that happens and your voice and it melds and it's... Ooh, sorry, I love music. It's good stuff. Even non-musical people love music. Everyone's got their own taste in music. Right? It's so weird. Oh. Ooh, I have not actually... Leave that there. I hope that works. And we're going we're gonna to do a quick tuning check. can actually send the entire sound off and I don't really have that good an ear so if I think it's off how bad is it really <laughs> all right oh yeah this is the one I heard on touch by an angel big old Tessie Tessa Tessie Tessa 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 she's like my favorite character I mean especially now that I'm older you know the, the woman who played Monica was pretty pretty you know, attractive but 
Tessa will always be my favorite. <laughs> Surely the presence of the Lord is in this place. I can feel his mighty power and his grace. I can hear the brush of angels' wings. I see glory on each face. Surely the presence of the Lord is in this place. In the midst of his children, the Lord said he would be. It doesn't take very many, it can be just two or three. And I feel that same spirit that I felt at times before. Surely I can say, I've been with the Lord. Surely the presence of the Lord is in this place. I can feel His mighty power and His grace. I can hear the brush of angels' wings. I see glory on each face, surely the presence of the Lord is in this place. There's a holy hush around us as God fills this place, and I've touched the hem of the garment. And I can almost see his face And my heart is overflowing With the fullness of this joy I know without a doubt That I've been with the of the Lord is in this place. I can feel His mighty power and its grace. I can hear the brush of angels' wings. I see glory on each face. Surely the presence of the Lord is in this place. Surely the presence of the Lord is in this place. Alright, thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I'll probably work out a better ending for that. But, uh, thanks for joining me today. We're having a lot of fun. We're moving right along, which I like. And my water's over there. Um, yeah, I just, I enjoy music. You know, all kinds of music. And yes, I do, you know, I've talked about it before, I do a lot of Christian music, but that's the stuff I feel passion for. Um, but this one, from... 1977's Peach Dragon. Um, it's a lot of, like I say, fun. Uh, it's about, you know, uh, what was her name? Nora, Helen Reddy, but the character Nora. You know. And it won, I think it won, won an Emmy or a Grammy or whatever award songs win. Um, I think it's
just because Helen Reddy's, you know, outfits remind me of something my mom won once, well, probably only once, and it stuck in my head, but, or, or, you know, my mom raised me on these musicals or whatever, but I, maybe she said she liked the song, but I don't know. Probably when I was a kid, like, you mushy stuff, but, um, I think a character, she's standing at her lighthouse and probably hoping her boyfriend lost at sea is gonna come soon, but. But yeah, we'll, uh... We'll just get through it. Somewhere to turn I'll be your candle on the water Till every wave is warm and bright My soul is there beside you Let this candle guide you Soon you'll see a golden stream of light A cold and friendless tide has found you Don't let the stormy darkness pull you down I'll plant a ray of hope around you Circling in the air Lighted by a prayer I'll be your candle on the water This flame inside of me will grow Keep holding on, you'll make it Here's my hand, so take it Look for me Reaching out to shore As sure as rivers flow I'll never let you go I'll never let you go video this week dedicated to my mom and in recognition of all the, the moms and grandmas out there who like to sing for their their people their families their crowds whatever um thanks for watching and tolerating i got a lot of shortcomings as a musician but for the first time in my life i'm beginning not to care so much i mean i still want to be better i still have every desire to improve but they're not crippling self-doubt anymore so that's an improvement. Um, and honestly, I'm just having fun. I mean, I would love to do this at a better level. You know, actual studio, not my tablet and my bedroom and junk. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, I just... I, I'm just having a lot of fun, and I hope to bring you some more fun stuff. Especially, uh, actually, there's one song. I don't know when it's going to be ready. I already got most of it down, but... Uh, that I actually just got the chords to today. But it's a lot of fun. And I, I think the reason I love it so much is not only is it a fun song in general, but I get to do voices with it. And just ask my wife and kids. I love to do voices. I love to do impersonations. It's actually my kids' favorite thing about me, I think. Thanks, sweetheart. And um, it, it, my, it's how my wife and I got together over my Jack Sparrow impersonation. And... 
I guess it's after we started dating, but I have a multitude of Johnny Depp character impersonations that I do that I just... It's fun. I like to do them. In, in school, I was kind of limited to Shaggy and Scooby-Doo, but I, I've branched out to just a lot of stuff. Um, maybe someday I'll be able to do a whole big thing. But thanks for watching. Tune in next week. Um, um, I feel weird asking my old high school friends to watch, but I would really appreciate it if you guys did. I think you'll get a kick out of it, or you'll hate me because... Well, I don't know. We'll see. Um... <laughs> But yeah, tune in next week, guys, and um, I look forward to seeing you around. Thanks. Bye.